Budapest, the capital of Hungary, is a tourist paradise. Hostels and hotels are cheap, excellent public transport, great infrastructure, the mesmerizing Danube River, and the Castle Hill. What is the greatest attraction of Budapest? The thermal baths. No one should miss this thermal bath experience. We will come to that later. Budapest has gone through several upheavals. The Roman town of Aquicum, 2000 years back, is now the center of today's Budapest. Budapest was the most sufferer in World War II. 80% buildings, including the Buddha castle, were badly damaged. But like the Phoenix, Budapest risen and rebuilt the entire city. The spectacular neoclassical buildings in Budapest is a testimony of the city's determination. Budapest is so lovely that half of the country's revenue of foreign tourism is earned here. The Castle Hill is a primary tourist attraction. Overlooking the Danube River, it has the spectacular Buddha Castle. It also has the Fisherman's Bastion, St. Matthew's Church and many other buildings which are there on the hill. Castle Hill is a kilometer long limestone plateau, 170 meters above the river. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Below the hill is a 28 kilometer network of caves formed by thermal springs. There are many ways to reach Castle Hill by metro and by bus, and then take the stairs or the funicular railway built in 1870. A new castle shuttle bus also comes up the hill from down below. From here, you get great views of the Danube, the Hungarian parliament, and other buildings across the river in the Pest area. The castle itself has been built in 13th century, destroyed and rebuilt several times over the centuries. The last time it was raised during the Second World War and rebuilt and restored in the 1970s. Buddha Castle has the Royal Palace, Budapest History Museum, the National Gallery of Art and a museum dedicated to the memory of a great musician from Hungary. Houdini. This is the famous Jain bridge. All the seven bridges including this one were destroyed in the World War II and all the seven bridges were later rebuilt. Writing on the plague is in Hungary. The script is Roman but it has hardly any relation with Latin. Buddha was prime place when Pest, on the other side of Danube River, was a much smaller place. Gradually, 
paste also became important. In 1872, Buddha and paste were united. The chain bridge was the first bridge on Danube River linking the two sides. Culturally and architecturally, Buddha paste has traveled through Roman times, Renaissance, and then Byzantine architecture during the Ottoman regime of Turks. I was pleasantly surprised to see a huge number of young people on the streets. People say Europe comes to party in Budapest. Why not? It's a pocket friendly destination. The euro pinches less in Budapest. The city does not have a loaded history like Rome, Florence or even Paris. It has the vibe of free wheeling, fun and frolic. Don't underestimate Budapest. Unless you book in advance, it is very difficult to get a table in this big boat restaurants. Even dinner crews are booked early. We didn't get any booking for dinner crews, so we settled for a cruise with a glass of wine. The Gothic bell tower of the Machash Church indicates that the church was built in the 13th century and it's one of the oldest churches in the city. It has Budapest offers a variety of boat cruises. We explored an Indian restaurant near our hotel in the evening. Virasat restaurant is quite large, mostly catering to big tote groups from India. We packed some food but tasted the samosas there. That samosa was exceptional. It's too good. It was too good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We have come to Hosok Dere Station. This station is more than 120 years old. Budapest Metro is the second oldest metro in the world after London Metro. Look at the ceramic tile work vintage design and so elegant. Even the name plate is done on ceramic. Budapest knows how to maintain its heritage. Several buildings and even some grill work in the buildings speak for it. Hosok Tere is the Hungarian name for Hero Square. This is the largest and most important square of Budapest. All major gatherings, demonstrations have been taking place on this spot. Hungary is bestowed with great natural thermal springs. Budapest also has similar springs underground and it has exploited that potential 
to create several thermal baths in the city. The largest of them is certainly the Sejanius Thermal Bath and Spa. It is so massive that I got lost for a few minutes near the outdoor pool. The spa has 15 indoor pools maintaining varying temperatures. The temperatures are displayed at every pool. The spa has several indoor saunas. They have private beer bath which is combined with beer session for 45 minutes is a separate place. They have a rooftop farmhouse with rentals of cabin, fruits and choice of drink. They have late night spa parties on most Saturdays. The party begins at 9.30 pm and continue till 2 am. You can spend the whole day from 9 to 8 pm at this spa. We went there in the afternoon and spent nearly three hours in indoor pools as well as the beautiful outdoor pool. Avoiding photographing individuals. After the great spa experience, we have stopped at a cafe for pasta and some coffee. We leave Budapest early morning tomorrow. Would have loved to visit the ruined bars in old Jewish town, but that will be on our next visit. Thanks for watching this vlog. If you like, please share with your friends. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and support. Thank you.